Mm, that's drunk. One request I seem to always get from people is, hey, find more two-player cooperative games. And the genre that has maybe the most of those is the beat-em-up genre. Of course, everyone already knows about stuff like Turtles in Time, Super Double Dragon, Battletoads and Double Dragon, all that good stuff. And now, many people are beginning to familiarize themselves with Super Famicom Japan-only beat-em-ups like Ghost Chaser Densei, Iron Commando, and Undercover Cops. Here's another one that I haven't talked about yet. It's Sengoku Densho, a port of the SNK arcade game Sengoku. And it's two-player co-op, and uh, that's really the main thing going for it, because, well, this game is kinda goofy. See, the original SNK arcade game is freaking great. The game is more than just walk to the right and mash buttons. You can wield weapons and you can change forms. Everything from a samurai, a ninja, and an armored dog with a badass spinning attack. The gameplay is smooth and it's a really satisfying playthrough. Sengoku got two arcade sequels as well, which are even better games. The first game received a port to Sega CD, or more accurately, Mega CD since it didn't reach the US, and it's a perfectly good port and reasonably accurate to the arcade original. The Super Famicom port is uh, well, it's different. Sure, the basic gameplay is still here, and you can still change into the three different forms, and yeah, like I said, it's multiplayer. But man, oh man, this game struggles. It's slow, sluggish, and the sprite animation here is just plain bad at times. The graphics for this one were completely redrawn from scratch, and everything here just looks uh, not great. What, is that supposed to be fire? There's two playable characters, Dan and Bill, but they have the same attacks and jump range and all that. The controls are B to jump, Y to punch, and that's it. X, A, L, and R are not used at all in this game. Jeez, what a waste. Instead of providing an interesting move set, the game instead has you collecting orbs. When you change into a samurai, ninja, or dog, you do it by finding an orb. And in addition to those, there's four different colored orbs you can collect. Green refills health, red gives you a sword, yellow gives you a projectile, and purple gives you a saber. When you find these orbs while you're in another form, they give you something extra to your attack. Like for example, as the samurai, you get these goofy energy balls. Okay, the way this looks seriously reminds me of Cheetah Men. All these enhancements are all temporary though, they'll eventually fade away regardless if you take any damage or not. There's five long stages you have to get through, with you going up into the clouds to fight for a while and then back down into a city. Each boss you fight has two forms that you have to defeat. Now, in the original game, there's cutscenes between each level that helps explain what the heck is happening. It boils down to a powerful warlord who was defeated by two samurai 400 years ago, and he swore revenge, and he's returned in this badass floating house. So you're trying to work your way to reach him up there. In the Super Famicom Edition, you just get a blurb of text at the beginning, and that's it. There is an English patch available for this game for what it's worth, but you're barely missing anything. I know that beat-em-ups don't need a story to be any good necessarily, but something here would have been nice. For whatever reason, there's always something about SNK games that don't quite translate all that well to the SNES or Super Famicom. For example, the Art of Fighting games. Sure, they got the job done at the time, but nowadays you're way better off playing the arcade originals. A company called Takara ported most of those games, and they just feel a bit lacking. In the case of Sengoku, this one was ported by Data East. Hey, they're awesome, that should be no problem, right? Nope, this game was totally half-assed. They cut out the cutscenes, the sprite animation sucks, the music is muddled and repetitive, and you see the same enemies over and over, just with different colors. Oh, and did I mention this game uses a whopping two face buttons? I know it's a beat-em-up, but come on. Anyway, yeah, sadly, Sengoku Densho for Super Famicom just isn't very good. I'd only recommend this one if you're sick of every other multiplayer beat-em-up you've played, and you're really desperate for something new. I wouldn't call this one of the worst games ever or anything like that. I mean, the hit detection is fine, I like the transformations, some of the backgrounds look cool, some of the bosses are neat looking, so this game isn't total garbage, but this is such an immensely half-assed port that you're way better off spending your time with the arcade original or even the Mega CD version. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.